Hi guys, welcome to the Get East Tech YouTube channel. We are here on the lesson number 3 for the PC Spice tutorials. In the last video we have done a DCUCB simulation and today we are gonna start expanding a little bit to things we can do. Here in this lesson we will try to understand transient or time domain analysis together. And let's get started. Okay. We will be using the same circuit that we have been working with the first and second lessons. The only thing that I change in the circuit is adding a switch between in and out. And to make this, you have to add parts. And to add a part, we are pressing P button. When you uh, press the P button, uh, you will see the parts place. And uh, you have to write in this place SW underscore T close. And you will see, you will see the parts. And you will cut, you will take this particle and you will add the same place in our circuits. Okay, and left the other things unchanged. Okay, okay, everything is fine, everyone is okay. And let's create a new simulation profile. Okay, to create a new sim simulation, you will come into the up uh, upside, and there are there is a toolbar and there are sections. We are coming to PSPIs and clicking new simulation profile. Okay, in this in this section, you have to give a name to your simulation, and I want to give a name of transient transient six because this is our sixth video um, in the piece by tutorials, and click create. Okay, you will see the simulation settings. There are different type of analysis types, and we will choose time domain. As 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 I said to you before, we are today making a transient analysis, and Today you have to select time domain transient analysis. Okay, uh, run to time means that um, how much time do you want to uh, make this simulation? And today we we want to make a simulation of two hundred milliseconds. Okay, do it uh, as 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 we do. And maximum step size uh, right here ten microseconds. I mean, um, uh, if you keep this max maximum step size. As, as small as possible, it means that you are making uh, more detailed analysis and 10 microseconds is so enough for, for our simulation. Okay, after that, everything is ready, everything is fine. Just uh, click apply and click OK. Our simulation profile is ready and we are ready to run our simulation. And to run our simulation, you have to click run or F11. Okay, click run. Okay, it is coming. Okay, as we said in the last lesson, the configuration is coming without anything. You have to add some traces, you have to add some windows to 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 open your graphs. Okay, today we will need two different windows. And to add window, you are you have to come plot area and add plot to window. You have to click this, add plot to window. As you see, we are here have uh, two different windows, and we will show two different graphs in in this simulation. Okay, I want to show that uh, current through capacitor. You see, we have a capacitor here, and in the up window, I want I want to show you guys that uh, the current through capacitor one, and in the bottom window, I want to show you guys that input voltage and output voltage. And let's begin. And uh, coming here. Okay, we are coming. Uh, add trace. We, we are coming to trace place to add our tr traces. Okay, insert, and you will see there are really different things. In the up window, we will show current uh, current through capacitor one, IC one, and click OK. And in the bottom side, we 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 want to show you guys that uh, we in and we out. Yes, we in and we we out. First of all, we in. After that, we out. Um, we in and we out and click OK. By the way, I forgot to say that after you add your switch to your circuit, you have to give a time to close time. I mean, T close because this is a closed uh, switch. We have to give a time when we want to close our switch. And in this project, we are giving 5 M, um, I mean, 5 milliseconds. After 5 milliseconds, our, our uh, switch is going to close itself and circuit will be uh, completed. Okay, sorry for that, I forgot to say that. Okay, 
I am coming again our simulation profile as you see in you see uh, every small piece is five seconds five seconds ten five millisecond I'm sorry five millisecond ten fifteen twenty milliseconds you see um, every four squares have twenty milliseconds and as you see here uh, up to the five millisecond there is nothing there is nothing you see because switch is not closed when you close the switch in the uh, after five milliseconds passed, uh, this the simulation is started itself. Okay, let's analyze it. Um, let's begin with the current through capacitor one. As you see that um, our current through capacitor is decreasing by time. Um, the the reason is that because uh, we are charging our capacitor. Um, you see, V in is twenty volt. V in is uh, constant direct currents 20 volts direct currents it is not changing but v out is our capacitors voltage uh, actually and we are charging our capacitor you see there is an exponential um, waveform and uh, but by time uh, the current through capacitor is decreasing because um, it is decreasing the uh, because we are cutting to the the supply from the from the circuits because of that current through capacitor is decreasing. Okay, and today is everything is uh, finished I think. And if you like this video, um, don't forget to share with your friends and with your engineer friends. It doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, um, see you in the next video. And this is enough for today. Thank you very much.